It's time again for another Start Your Engines event in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing another Start Your Engines event and this time, this time instead of going over across to Europe, we're actually going over to well, over to Amsterdam or anything like that, we're going a little bit the opposite direction. So we're going from Felixdow or whatever the Flagstaff, I don't know what that is, Felixdow, over to Manchester. So there you go, through Cambridge, past Sheffield, uh, on the A1, and then um, the M62, I believe it is. There we go, to uh, Manchester. So that should be a nice drive. It's about 422 kilometres. That'll sort of get us out away from um, the current area because I've noticed that a lot of the jobs just around the 200 mark uh, seem to be going to the same place. So you either one need to get away from it or two uh, teleport to a different uh, or, or sorry uh, one teleport to a different area or two uh, to you know do a longer distance which is that's what I'm doing today so. 400 kilometers that's yeah, fine it's fine right so let's get this on the road shall we get the volvo into gear and away we go let's do the tug test as we should do got the trailer on there's our little tug test and away we go away we go so some nice um racing components pretty simple this event is is really very 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 simple I mean you can't go wrong really it is so easy not like other events that are a lot harder I'm gonna just go out at least and then wait for that guy and then go behind him there we go Flick that into a higher range. And away we go. So look, this is this is gonna be nice and simple, nice and easy. You know, and this whole event really is just is just easy. For what you get, you get another little statue, which I've already got a spot on the dash there waiting for it. Should be good. And it also gives me a chance to, you know, muck around with my profile that, uh, from, you know, my third time I've done the profile. <laughs> this time I don't want to lose it. So I've really got to back up my profiles for next time. So, because <laughs> I keep, every time I have to format my computer or something, I, for some reasons, Euro Truck gets forgotten about. And or I do back it up and I forget to transfer it or whatever it is and it's just nuts anyway these things happen um, we're going through what is it 48 we need to be going so 46 I'll just sit on that 45 because these the yellow sticks with the cameras on top they're speed cameras so you can get done a few times through this construction area Um, but it's good to see that um, SCS are going through and updating all these older areas and I think this UK area here will probably take a little bit of getting used uh, getting you know for a while before it gets updated because they're going to be going through Germany first and updating that which uh, is I think I believe that's the oldest area in the game and does need the most attention I don't know if that's for sure, but I think Germany was the very first area that uh, SES created. Alright, so we need to get over. And this donkey is not going to let us, I don't think. So I'm just going to scoot over anyway. There you go, he'll back off. They generally do. When you're a truck and you want to go over into the uh, the right lane, they generally uh, move away for you. 
when you put your indicator on and start moving. And around we go. Oh, th that bit of road there needs to be modified. It really does. Because it gets all chunky and you bounce all over the place. And How are we going for fuel? Let's get some fuel. May as well. You can always, uh, you know, when you get half a tank down to half, just top, uh, top up the tank. That way you don't run out of fuel. That's what I do anyway. Keep it topped up. Okay, trailer brake on. Turn the truck off and let's fill her up. Fill her up with Milo. No, don't do that. <laughs> truck won't like that at all there we go full tank thank you start her up and away we go and that's there we go up to uh, four there Driving this Volvo um, keeps me in practice for when I have to drive the Volvo at work. Because that is a real beast to drive. It's it's not easy. It's not as easy as, um, as some of the other trucks. There we go. Now, I'm thinking that a lot of this is going to be highway work, so just have to uh, keep on the highway, I think. So if I, I sit on, say, 90, we should be right. And I'll, uh, I'll put the cruise control on. Oh truck's having a bit of trouble getting up to 90 even though we're, we're on a little bit of an incline so that might be uh, might be why little hill let's put that cruise control on there we go and we can just cruise along the way See, the camera's not going to bother us because we're doing 90, and then 97 is the speed limit. Just to uh, fix that. There we go. Track IR sometimes plays up on me where it, it's... Now the cruise control's not working. Come on, cruise control. It's, um, sometimes the cruise control plays up, so you go and set it, and it still wants to do the last one, last time you set it. There we go, 80, it wants to do 80, let's go a bit faster than that. There we go, 90 is fast enough. Jump into that lane. So we can overtake. And there we go. See, nice and relaxing drive. And this will be done in no time. You watch. It's really easy. Um, so what have we what's what exciting things have been happening? Let's see. Um well, apart from I got a... Well, I was told I was getting a new truck. I ended up getting this pile of crap that is probably what we would consider here in Australia a ute. 
it's basically a four ton ute so a little bit bummed about that I really enjoyed driving the truck but now I'm in, in a ute doing small little jobs but I suppose you got to do what your uh, boss tells you to do eh so it's all right look I'll just keep driving it and hopefully they'll upgrade me soon enough um, but it is very it's an Aveco and it's a um, very hard to drive it's not not um, easy at all uh, it, it basically um, the steering is like not in an easy spot to drive and the seat doesn't go where you want it to go and it just makes it uncomfortable so I'm hoping that I can I'll play around with it for a bit and hopefully I'll get it to work a bit better because there's nothing worse you're driving a truck and it's uncomfortable to drive you know that just makes your job hard here we go we'll be able to back on the A4 well we're on the A14 now 300 kilometers to go so since we're doing a lot of highway work it won't take long at all Ooh, ooh. Let's put that cruise control back on 97 is the speed limit again so we should be able to get uh, we'll easily be able to get away with 90 there we go didn't see I wasn't um, wasn't watching the road and uh, I used to get tricked on that all the time where you were driving along and all of a sudden the road would end and you'd have to get in that other lane really quick and it would be a real pain to do so but now with the new GPS system that they have makes it a lot easier you can see exactly what's going on Um, so what other things uh, what other things can we talk about um, we're speeding that's what we can talk about and here comes a camera down to 48 damn speed cameras uh, well let's see um, SCS had a visit from Crone this week. Uh, if you haven't checked those videos out, guys, of behind-the-scenes videos from uh, SCS, I suggest you do because uh, the, the behind-the-scenes videos for um, anything is really cool because you get to have a look at how they actually do things, how they work, you know. So, um, and SCS show you a, a, a few of their modelling things that they have and it gives you a little insight on what that is stupid it said 90 and then it said 48 that is stupid ah that's that's I knew that that was that was something wrong there because I was watching it said 98 and um, and I'm thinking we're still in a construction area but it says 98 and then it flicked back to uh, the what was it 48 or 97 it said and it flicked back to 48 which is yeah get done with a speeding fine um, but anyway that's all right so we got 250 kilometers to go kilometers just fly in this especially when you're on the highway Uh, better take a photo as well, otherwise uh, 
Otherwise, I won't have anything for the thumbnail. There we go. As we're turning around the corner. I like those shots when your truck's turning around the corner. Look at that. That's actually a good photo, that. Very nice. Got the sunflowers in there. Alright. Uh, take that blur off. Take the blur off, I said. There we go. And there we go. That looks really good. Get another one like that. And uh, you really can't tell what these are going to look like, these photos. Whether they're going to look good until you get them into Photoshop and you start working with them. There you go. That's enough for now. Let's keep going. Keep it on the road. On the road again. Do 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 On the open highway. That's where I really love driving on the open highway, especially uh, in real life it's actually a lot better than uh, doing city work not that I mind doing city work but uh, um, open highway is a lot better what's that a six track up the top there I've never really noticed that don't know So, um, I, I would assume that most of you have actually done this by now, have done all of this. So, uh, I know that a lot of people have. And, um, it was, I mean, a lot of people did it within the first two days, which is amazing. You just sit there the whole time and, and drive. <laughs> 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. <laughs> Man, it get done in no time. Yeah, there's a cool windmill. Look at that. Looks pretty old, actually, that windmill. And now we're on the A1. Are we on the A1? I don't know. Said we're on the A1. Sheffield, Grimsby. I haven't really been out this way in this uh, on this profile. That's a good chance to get out there. Discover a whole heap of areas. Camper van. Woo. Ah, oh, uh, what else? What else um, I've been reading about this week? Um, SES, we're talking about the new Oregon area. That's something that I'm really excited about. Uh, Oregon, when it comes out for American Truck Simulator. Uh, that DLC sounds really interesting. And from some of the photos that they've shown, uh, especially the logging industry areas... Um, it looks like to me that you're going to be able to go on into like off-road areas, grab your logs, because logging is a big part of that area, a big part of the industry in that area, and um, then you'll be able to take them to other places. So I know that there's a lot of, um, you do get a few places that have that in game, but most of it's actually on, uh, on tarmac, so bitumen. Or road base road surface yeah it's like we have here most of it's like that in the game and uh, for SCS to put in off-road sections is really cool that you can properly drive on not just you know stuff that we find you know uh, like in the uh, Easter egg hunt we find a few just stuff just everywhere 
And actually, I haven't done one of those in a while. I may have to look at doing some of those again. Because uh, I really enjoyed those. The Easter egg hunt, showing you little bits and pieces inside the game that you just, just would generally wouldn't recognise or wouldn't see. Whoa, twisty part. This is really twisty and turny. Sunflowers, they're always good to take photos next to. Always. Really livens up the picture. Rimsby, we're going to turn off here. What's that say? That says Sheffield. That truck in the front keeps switching lanes, doesn't he? He goes one lane. Whoa, he just pulled out in front of that car. <laughs> Oh man, the AI in this game are funny as. M M18? Is that what it said? M18? I don't know. And yeah, it says M18. And then we're just going down here again and turning off. So it's all highway work, really. Quite simple. What other things has uh, SES been talking about? I'm just trying to think in those videos. What did I see? Did I see anything exciting in them? I just love looking at behind the scenes stuff. In general, from companies, see how they do things. And there we go. Back onto another highway section. And we have 116 kilometers to go. So this is the M1. Not the same as the M1 here in Brisbane, but anyway. <laughs> Manchester, there we go. We're on the right road. And 97 we can go through here. Hopefully there's no roadworks, construction or anything like that that's going to get in our way as we're driving. And causes any big issues. That, uh, I was just having a look at the volume there on the, the video. is actually quite loud, isn't it, for the truck? I'll have to check that after I've finished it. Hopefully you can still hear me. Otherwise it's a waste of a video. There we go, that might be a bit better. There's a random event on the side of the road. Somebody's broken down. See, now that is a new truck. I have never seen that on the roads before. I've seen the white one, but not the red one, or orangey red one. See, sometimes I reckon they slip things in and they just don't tell you that they did it. Just to see if you recognise, if you see it's there. Alright, so 84 kilometres. Not far at all. Ah, oh, what other exciting things? I don't think that's uh, there's much more exciting for me to talk about, really. Um, next week I'll be able to tell you about how I went with the actual new Ute truck sort of thing. Um because it has really been neglected by the way it's just full of crap it's got so much dust inch thick dust inside 
and it is terrible very very dirty uh, the guy that, that drove it before was a smoker so I'm a non-smoker and he must have smoked inside the truck which is against policy but he did it anyway because you can see all ash inside the truck caked with dust and all sorts of stuff so and he left a lighter in there as well he ain't gonna get that back <laughs> oh, that's a nice area for a photo as well look at that that's really good I might stop and quickly take a photo there as well you can never have enough too many photos especially when you're doing these events See, there we go. Take off that blur. And there we go. There's another good good photo. Even the car there next to it uh, makes for a good photo as well. There we go. Let's keep going. And 49 kilometers, so we're just down the road and hopefully I can just back it in without any problems <coughs> don't forget guys that you can check out some of the other videos as well that I do uh, mostly mod reviews uh, we also do a weekly drive at the end of the week and that's on Sunday uh, Australian Eastern Standard Times which is generally about Saturday for most people for everyone else around the world um, so make sure you check that out. Uh, this week we did the Tesla truck. Uh, we took that for a drive with its extra long trailer and it didn't go as well as what I thought it would. So did have a bit of problems there. So if you want to see the weekly drive uh, as we test out that Tesla truck mod, uh, you'll be able to check that out on the Junior Senior Gaming channel. So make sure you check it out don't forget there are other mods for you to check out as well I try and do as many uh, of the latest mods that I can and sometimes we revisit older mods when there's uh, not many mods out there's not actually a great deal of mods that are coming out at the moment uh, a lot of mods uh, especially for Euro trucks a lot of mods don't work they just they get uploaded and they're just incomplete and you know I try and pick the best of the of what I've got and some of them they just don't even work there's I've noticed that a couple of them um, are now starting to contain viruses which is a, a real shame that's a, a very big disappointment I think for the modding industry you know that people are stra starting to put viruses inside mods so you download the mod and it comes with a free virus so I think that's a little bit crummy to be doing that now um, the mods I scan my mods before I um, before I review them because I don't want you guys to be getting any uh, you know mods uh, any uh, viruses or anything like that because that looks bad on me doesn't it if that happens so um, I, I make sure that they I scan them and the link is not um, holding any mods inside now you should have uh, one of the things that I try to encourage people is to have your updated virus scanner and also an ad uh, catcher as well something that catches your uh, pop-ups because if you do get a virus from uh, from a website well that's different to the actual mod so uh, you really should have proper protection and you can't blame me if you don't have proper protection really it's like going into a brothel you're not going to just go in with nothing you know you're going to wear some kind of protection same with the internet still so many people out there who don't even have um, virus protection you know anti-malware and stuff like that it's amazing 
and that's the basics of the internet now is um, is malware protection because you're going to end up with a problem a virus and trojans and they'll just rip you right off um right here we go the destination's just up here yeah mate I'm going to cut in front and uh, I'm going to take over two lanes too so you guys don't try to run me off the road LKW that's where we're off to and just gonna pull in here oh look there's that big boat I haven't carried that yet should see where that's going to all right spinning it round and we should be able to deliver this no problem I hope Okay. Now I'll try to back this in with just using the mirrors. Gets you good practice. And look at that. That's going nicely in there. A little bit crooked, but it's still going in nice. See, there we go. And I'll just uh, spin that round now and jackknife that in. There we go. Look at that. See, for some reason, I jackknife trailers in better than what I do driving them in normally. I'll just reverse that in a bit more. I don't know why that is. There we go. So let's drop that now. And now we're in Manchester, so that means we can get different loads going to different destinations, which is really good. Bing, 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 bing. That's 19,000. Thank you very much. That's the advantage of doing these longer distance runs. You get better, better cash. All right, and bing, that clicked over to a seven. We now have seven that we've actually done. So very, very good. So that, that's really good. We're getting right in there and getting all of these done. So that's very, very good. Well, guys, that is pretty much it for me today with this, um, this uh, Start Your Engines event. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget that there are other videos on my channel uh, that you can check out. And if you did miss any of the earlier epi episodes of the Start Your Engines event, then there is a link in the description to the playlist just click on show more and it drops down so you can have a look there and um, yeah you can go through all the videos that, are, that I've done the whole seven of them so far so make sure you check that out guys but that's it for me look if you like this video then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass and if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cindy Gaming then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cindy Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out and while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.